As a substation maintenance manager or engineer, you're already aware of the many issues and concerns related to the presence of water in your transformer's oil and insulation. You've likely also experienced the pressure from management to increase loads on wet transformers in your system. And then when dry out maintenance is performed, there are other issues to address like the downtime experienced from taking a transformer out of service, the expense of switching transformers, and the strain of scheduling personnel around the clock. The Velcon Systems TDS-5 Transformer Dryout System is a safe, reliable, and cost-effective alternative to conventional hot oil dryout methods. You not only achieve a high degree of moisture removal, your transformer can remain in service and unattended while you avoid the inconvenience and expense of taking a transformer out of service. In this brief presentation, we'll explain how the Velcon TDS-5 Transformer Dryout System works, demonstrate its operation, and establish why the TDS-5 is an excellent transformer dryout solution. But first, we'd like you to know a little more about us. Velcon Filters is headquartered in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We also maintain manufacturing sites in Texas and Alabama, in addition to regional offices in Chicago and Atlanta. Currently, we're the world's leading supplier of jet fuel purification equipment. Since the early 60s, we've evolved our experience into a broad array of filtering products and systems serving the electric utilities industry. But it's your situation that we're focusing on today, the need for a reliable and cost-effective solution for drying out your wet transformer. Water in oil can be differentiated in two ways, as free water and as dissolved water. Free water plus dissolved water equals total water. Free water or emulsified water can make the oil appear cloudy. The water in this oil is emulsified with water content above the temperature saturation level indicated on this saturation chart for insulating oil. Free water in oil can be removed using a variety of commonly available technologies. This is an example of dissolved water in oil, which is more difficult to remove. Dissolved water is invisible the same way humidity is invisible in the air. While this oil sample appears clear, it actually contains 60 parts per million of dissolved water, indicating an unacceptable level of moisture in the oil and a clear sign of a high level of water in the transformer's paper insulation. The typical method for removing dissolved water from transformer oil is by heat vacuum distillation, requiring the use of components like these set up for a field dryout process. These include an oil storage tanker, a trailer-mounted heat vacuum distillation system, and a generator. Well, we got a transformer that's got a little moisture in the windings, so what we're doing is sucking the oil out and pulling vacuum on it, trying to boil the water out of the windings. Basically, we got four guys slated for a whole week, and it's 24 hours a day. We work 12-hour shifts, and we got to run 24 hours a day, keep the heat and keep the vacuum. We have to switch a transformer out and it's out of service for at least a week. And once we're done, we need to leave it out for 48 hours, let all the air bubbles and things settle out. So it is quite extensive out time. The advantages of the Velcon TDS-5 transformer dryout system begin with Velcon Super Dry filters, which reduce water content to less than 10 parts per million from oil without heat or vacuum. Here's how the system works. The TDS-5 essentially takes advantage of the natural moisture migration dynamics of an energized transformer under load. Moisture in an oil-filled transformer resides primarily in its paper insulation due to the fact that the paper's affinity for moisture is many times that of oil. This division of moisture between oil and paper insulation is temperature-based. As a result, residual moisture within a transformer will always migrate into its paper insulation as the transformer cools. However, when a transformer is energized and under load, heat from the core and coils forces this moisture to migrate out of the paper insulation and into the oil. It's the processing of this moisture-laden oil through the TDS-5 while the transformer is energized and in use that makes this such an efficient dry-out alternative. The TDS-5 is basically a kidney loop system in which the hot, wet oil is diverted from the transformer into the system and processed through its four super dry filter cartridges. The dried oil is then returned to the transformer where it continues to draw moisture migrating out of the core insulation and is continuously recirculated and processed through the TDS-5. This dry out loop continues unattended at a rate of five gallons per minute 24 hours a day until sufficient dry out of the entire transformer is achieved. 
Despite the system's high water removal efficiency, it does not remove beneficial anti-oxidation inhibitors from the oil as some heat and vacuum systems do. Of course, the time required to complete your dry-out process will vary with the size, wetness, and load condition of the transformer. And as an added benefit, once dry-out is complete, the TDS-5 can be fitted with adsorptive cartridges to reduce acidity. Installing the Velcon TDS-5 is quick and easy. With the unit close to the transformer, simply connect the discharge hose to the top of the transformer and the suction hose to the bottom drain port of the transformer. After installing four Velcon Super Dry cartridges, you're ready to begin the dry out process. There are a number of safety devices on the TDS-5 designed to protect the transformer. And we'll briefly go through each of these safety devices and how they impact the safe performance of the transformer operation under the energized processing system here. The first concern that most people have is, is the possibility of air entering the transformer. So to guard against that, we've equipped the unit with a vacuum pump to evacuate all air from the piping, the hoses, and the filter vessel. Simply turn on the vacuum pump, and over here, monitor the level of vacuum that the vacuum pump is pulling. Once we get down to about 25, 26 inches of vacuum, the process is complete, and the next step would be to prime the vessel with oil and begin the energized processing. The second protection we have against air entering the transformer is a flow switch located here which would sense any air in the oil stream being transferred back to the transformer. When air is sensed and the switch does not sense oil flow, it will light this low flow alarm here as it just indicated. Another safety feature designed to protect the transformer is the low level alarm. It requires that the user connect his low level alarm on the transformer into the control box of the transformer dryout system. If the low level alarm on the transformer signals, it will shut the unit off and prevent any loss of oil from the transformer. The next protection device is a device primarily intended to protect the filter cartridges, and that's a high pressure shutoff switch. When the unit's under flow, we're flowing oil through the unit. Should any blockage occur or a high differential pressure build up against the filters, this unit will trip itself off, thereby protecting the transformer as well. We'll simulate this by closing the discharge valve. We have a high pressure alarm here, the unit's tripped off, and the transformer is once again protected. The next safety feature is, comes with the environmental option package, which is something we strongly recommend for unattended processing. This feature requires the use of coaxial hose, a hose within a hose, so that if anything happens to the internal hose and oil threatens to leak, it is collected by the outer hose where the oil stream is directed towards a secondary containment in the bottom of the enclosure. As the oil level rises, a float in the back of the enclosure senses that oil level and the high level switch here will activate shutting the unit off and preventing any further leakage of oil from the transformer. Any of the four safety and alarm protection devices that we've already demonstrated will turn the system off and protect the transformer. At the end of the coaxial hoses, however, are also solenoid valves. Any of these alarms trip out and the solenoid valves will close as well. This will completely isolate the transformer dryout system from the transformer, thereby making unattended processing very safe. In addition to these critical safety features, there are a number of additional features contributing to the Velcon TDS-5's ease of use. These include a power drain that allows the pump to drain down the filter vessel and return oil to the transformer during filter changeouts, a resettable flow meter and totalizer which displays flow rate, total throughput gallons, and total batch gallons, large easy-to-read temperature and pressure gauges, and sample ports located both upstream and downstream for checking oil condition before and after super dry filtration. Certainly among the most useful options available with the TDS-5 is the Domino Moisture and Oil Sensor developed by the Dobel Engineering Corporation. With this device integrated into the TDS-5, you can monitor real time in parts per million the precise level of moisture in oil at any time during the dry out process. For example, here we're reading the moisture level of oil coming from the transformer prior to entering the TDS-5 filtering vessel. As we can see, this moisture level is high, reading in the range of 30 parts per million. 
Now, as we divert the wet oil through the TDS-5 super dry cartridges, we can observe the dramatic effects of the super dry filters in reducing this oil's moisture content, down to as little as three and even two parts per million after processing. With the Doble Domino, this information is instant and accurate. The sensor is also useful for indicating the need to replace saturated super dry cartridges. As this presentation has illustrated, the Velcon System's TDS-5 Transformer Dryout System delivers numerous advantages over conventional field hot oil and vacuum processes. Since this system requires no vacuum to the transformer shell during the energized process, it can be safely and effectively used on transformers of all types and tolerances. By performing dryout procedures while your transformer is in use, the TDS-5 eliminates the need to interrupt your customer's electric service, a particularly critical advantage in areas with no redundant feed. In many parts of the country, substation maintenance activities must be cleared through ISOs. Such switching costs become unnecessary with the TDS-5's ability to dry out your transformer while it's in use. Last but certainly not least is the TDS-5's ability to perform transformer dryout unattended without the need for costly round-the-clock supervision. Changing times demand changing technologies, and with the dynamic changes taking place in the electric utilities industry, there's never been a better time for you to protect your transformer investment through the use of a safer, more effective, and less costly dryout alternative like the Velcon TDS-5 Transformer Dryout System. For more information on the TDS-5 or other Velcon products including Velcon Super Dry Filter Cartridges, please contact Ben Taylor or Carl Brandt by phone or email. Thank you for your time.